Hey folks, Judd Zolgad, Jess Myers coming to you from Philadelphia, Wells Fargo Center. That's right. I got it right this time. I got it wrong on the first take, but we redid it. Gophers beat North Dakota tonight 2-1 to one in the semifinals of the Frozen Four, Jess Myers. Let's get right to it. Uh, we have both grown up around hockey, seen thousands of hockey games. Where does this one rank for you? If you hang around this game long enough, you will see absolutely everything and add another one to that tonight. Um, you know, I'm sure you watched the way it ended uh, if you're out there, if you're a, a Gopher fan, but a shorthanded goal with 0.6 seconds on the clock um, that they had to go back and review. It was that close. I mean, mm -hmm. the, the green light was on when, when the Gophers were celebrating. Mm -hmm. As was noted in the post-game press conference, they got to celebrate three times because they celebrated when the shot went in, they celebrated again when it was announced that it was a goal, and then when the final horn went, they celebrated a third time. Um, just, just an amazing, amazing hockey game and an even more amazing ending. And the goal was scored by Justin Hull, and you're saying, Justin Hull, big time goal scorer for the Gophers? <laughs> Try this, folks. Zero goals going into tonight for the season. Senior defenseman on the top defensive pairing, so he's very good. Yeah, absolutely. He had zero goals before tonight, and on the uh, game-winning goal, Rao goes down the ice, tries to take a shot. North Dakota defenseman blocks it. It comes loose. Hull admitted, I had no idea what I was doing. I said, I'm going to throw it on net. It goes in. Two to one Gophers. They'll play Union on Saturday in the championship game. Let's break this game down real quickly. You made an astute observation to me during, I believe, the, was it between the first and second or yep. second and third period? And that is that. As the game went on, yeah. Dave Haxtall for North Dakota coached a marvelous game. People talk about the fact that there's a 10-day break between the end of the regionals and the start of the Frozen Four. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? That was a very good thing for North Dakota tonight mm -hmm. because he had gone over video. He had scouted this team perfectly. He knew how to take away passing lanes. They knew exactly how to clog up the Gophers just enough coming into the zone. It wasn't like a neutral zone trap or that kind of game, right. but just slow down the offense so you can't get into the offensive zone with the normal speed and the normal pace you like. It threw them off just enough. He admitted they played their best defensive game of the year tonight. Goaltending also fantastic. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, and, take and your pick we, on goaltenders, right? We knew we had two great goalies in this game. They were as good as advertised. Zane Gothberg stopped almost everything that came his way. You know, he didn't see that last shot, obviously. Uh, you know, it, it went by him without him even reacting. Uh, I, I think that's pretty clear. And Adam Wilcox won the game. I mean, I think that's that's pretty obvious, especially in the last two minutes when the Gophers are killing a penalty. North Dakota is just throwing shot after shot after shot at him. Uh, he, he did what we've seen him do all year. Now, we were all excited when we found out the Gophers and North Dakota weren't going to play in this game because they used to be WCHA rivals. They had one of the greatest rivalries in college hockey. That was broken up. We thought they wouldn't play this year until we found out the <laughs> pairings for this game. But if I would come to you just uh, 10 days ago and said, okay, here's the deal. They're not only going to play, but this is how the game is going to go. What would you say to me? I really wouldn't have been that surprised because, again, if you hang around the Frozen Four long enough, you hang around college hockey long enough, you do see everything at some point. And tonight was just uh, you know another example of that, of two great teams, two classic rivals mm -hmm. on the biggest stage in the game, you know, going toe-to-toe. -to -toe. Union and the Gophers will play 6.30 local time on Saturday. Union beats Boston College. I had not seen Union all season long. I know that they've had previous success. They're obviously not a big school. Give me your scouting report because I was really impressed. They're for real. That wasn't a fluke. I was stunned by the amount of skill they have, not mm -hmm. only with their sticks and, and their skating. And like you say, living where we do in the Midwest, we don't see Union on TV. They're not, a, they're not a team you see much. I hadn't seen them play in person in two years since we were at the Frozen Four out in Tampa two years ago. Um, you know, We knew about certain players, but the complete package of that team, the way they skate, the way they're just crisp with their passes and, again, defend so well, they're going to be a handful for the Gophers. You know, people who don't know Union, get to know them because this is going to be a great hockey game. All right, continue to check out our coverage and videos. We'll be here through the weekend. Gophers playing Saturday against Union, as I mentioned, so we'll certainly have coverage of that. Jess will have stories uh, posted as will I at 1500ESPN.com, and you can check out our continuing videos from Philadelphia. That's all for this evening. Thanks for coming to 1500ESPN.com. Jess Myers, Judd Zolgad, have a good one.